Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create these Halloween kitchen towels. They're great for any decor and would make a great gift to give someone or even sell at a local craft fair or in a craft store. They cost me a little under $2 each to create and they were so much fun to create them. Now let's get started. Alright, so to create these uh, Halloween towels, I'm starting in Design Space. These SVG files that I have here, I purchased from designbundles.net. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in any, in any of these. Um, quick side note, uh, if you haven't heard of them before, I would highly suggest checking it out. I think it's once every three months they do a dollar bundle deal, which you would get all of these probably plus five or ten more for a dollar. Cannot go wrong. Next one coming up is actually October 27th at 11 o'clock. I'll leave the description below in case you're interested in it. They have so many wonderful SVG files that you can purchase and they're so easy to upload into Design Space. So again, sorry, side note, if you guys are interested in knowing where I get mine from, that's where I get most of my files from. Um, so starting in Design Space here, these are the ones that I have. I went ahead and made these a little bit larger. So the towel that I'm using, I purchased off of Amazon. It's just a plain old uh, kitchen towel that's orange, and I love it. It's, it's really great quality, and it's a really bright orange. So it's going to be really good for um, Halloween. So I changed these ones uh, to be five um, by about 4.83, um, depending on uh, how big you want yours to be. But I figure mine is uh, no larger than a five by five. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to do this if you don't know. So I'm selecting my first one up here and I normally push the unlock box up here and then change it to be five by five. But when I do that, I've been noticing that it's been skewed or really off. So I don't unlock it anymore, but I just type in the first number. So I'm going to type in five and then it's automatically going to go ahead and change the height for me here. So I'm going to do the same with this one, select this one. I'm not unlocking it, but I'm just changing this to be five and then it's automatically going to change the height for me. Uh, so quick side note, again, if you guys want to change the uh, color on this, you're more than welcome to. You can see on the side here that you can change any of these that you want. I'm actually going to leave all of mine black. So you can change it any way that you want or you can leave it the way it is. If you want to leave it the way it is, like say this one, so it has all of these that you can change the color if you'd like. If you do not want to change the color, I would push weld on here. And a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what's the difference between weld and attach? The way my understanding is, is attach is, it's just going to attach everything together and it'll cut out just the way you see it. With weld, um, let's see this one here. This one is already um, attached because that's how the person who created the SVG file uh, made it. So you cannot ungroup it or detach it. I would go ahead and push weld for this one because right here, anywhere that you see anything touching each other is uh, Cricut's going to think that it needs to cut it. So if you were to not weld this one and just push attach or just leave it the way it is, Cricut would cut this little piece here and this little piece here and this piece here and so on and so forth. So if you have something that's attached like this or something that's all uh, attached to each other, I would definitely push weld instead of attach because you do not want to see those little cut lines there. So I'm just going through each one of these and making sure that I weld them. So I'm going to weld this one even though they're not touching each other on here. I'm still just going to push that weld button. And I'm sorry, another side note guys, when you push the weld button, there's no undoing it. So be careful with that. So I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I have them all here. So these six are finished. I'm going to cut them out the way it looks. So I'm going to go up here to the make it button and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to be using HTV, heat transfer vinyl for this project. So because I don't want to use a smaller mat, I have a larger mat and I have a really large roll of HTV. I'm going to show you this really quick and you may or may not know this, but if you're new, I hope I'm helping you out. So I just clicked on material size and I'm clicking on the 12 by 24 and that's going to put it onto one whole mat for me. The other thing I like to do is just move it over just a little bit so I can get my scissors in between each one of these files easily. 
I'm not trying to waste any uh, vinyl here. I'm just going to go in here and be able to cut it out easier. Another tip, when you guys are doing HTV heat transfer to vinyl, please make sure to use this mirror button here. It will flip everything for you. So when you go ahead and weed it out and you're ready to put it on your project, whatever you're using, in this instance, I'm using the towels. Um, once you flip it over to heat press it or use an iron or a easy press, it'll be all perfect for you. So please make sure you use the mirror button. I'm going to go ahead and push continue. It's going to tell me to uh, connect my machine, which it is already. So for here, here are my base materials that I set myself. Um, if you guys know me and you know my channel, I'm sorry, I hate the Cricut brand. My aunt was actually just here and we were doing a whole bunch of stuff for her. And she gave me Cricut brand vinyl. I could not weed it for the life of me. I threw out every single piece of it and I said, nope, we're going to use a different kind. So if you guys know me and you know my channel, I hate the Cricut brand. I cannot stand it. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Do you like the Cricut brand? I just like whatever's on sale. I always get like the Oracle 651 or the HTV from Amazon, whatever is kind of cheapest. I'll leave the links down below for what I get. So for this instant, I'm using Iron On Heat Transfer Non Cricut. I'm going to make sure I have my um, HTV shiny side down. And I'm going to let the Cricut do the rest of the work for me. One other thing I do sometimes do since my my blades are a little bit dull is I go to the pressure and I do more. So talking about using more pressure on here, um, I need to actually replace my blade. And I'm going to talk about this really quickly. Um, I has, was I was actually reached out to a company asking me if I was interested in receiving some blades. And I said, sure, why not? So I received these 40 piece replacement blades for the Cricut Explore Air 2 and 3 and the Maker. I have the Maker. You get 10 pieces of the fine point blades, 20 of the standard blades, and 10 of the deep cutting blades. This, these are absolutely amazing. Guys, I would not lie to you. I've had these for probably the past two years and I'm not even halfway through using them. It's a great opportunity. I'm just going to do what I did before. If you haven't seen my video previously, I actually did a giveaway for um, a package of these if you just leave a comment down below. If you want to do that for me, leave a comment down below. Do you like this video? What do you like about it? Why do you need replacement, you know, blades, you know, anything, just something that I know that you guys are listening and you really care about this video. So if you're interested in receiving these, it is a $10 deal. Please leave a comment down below and I will randomly pick a winner and contact you directly. So that is it for that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I will cut this out. I'll weed it out since HTV is very simple to weed. You guys don't have to watch me weed it out, but please make sure that you have your mirror on and that you put your... HTV shiny side down. So I'm going to be showing you next how to use your heat press and put this onto your cute little towels. All right guys, so I'm at my heat press right now. I have it set at 380 for 20 seconds. And I did have one ready to see how it turned out and I absolutely love it. So here's this one and it says boo y'all. I really love how this turned out. I will show you really quick the packaging that this came in. I bought these from Amazon. Um, they're a set of 12 and they are cotton. And I love the way that they look. They have like a little wrinkle to it, which I think really gives it kind of like the pumpkin feel. Um, so really the only thing that I do is actually open it up all the way and then take both ends here and then make those straight. I don't undo the whole thing. I just undo it halfway. So I can fit two of these on here. So I'm just gonna lay it on here flat and I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. So I'm just gonna open it up. If you guys can see that, there we go. And um, put both ends together. I don't really open the whole thing and refold it. I don't see a purpose to it. So I just do it the long way. So I'm gonna put it on here as well. And then I'm going to give it a pre-press to try to get some of the wrinkles out and then also get it warm so when I put my file on it, it will stick a lot easier. So I'm just going to push it down just for a little bit. Give it a nice pre-press, get it nice and warm. So now it's nice and flat and pressed for me. And I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one really quick. So here is one of the files that I made. Um, black cats only. I really like that. Uh, find the middle part. So when you think about it, you're going to hang your... Um, towels up so you don't want to go too far down so I'm going kind of not even halfway down and then I'm just going to take the other one this one says I put a spell on you 
And I'm going to put that similarly, kind of not really in the middle, but down further. Whoops. I see a piece on here. It's not supposed to be. There we go. And um, you want to make sure that you use your protective covering. So I have that here. And I'm actually going to, I love my heat press. I'm actually going to undo um, a little bit of the pressure because it was on too much. So I have this set at 380 for 20 seconds. All I got to do is push this down. I know I talk about it all the time, but guys, seriously, if you're going to be doing a lot of HTV, um, I would highly suggest getting a heat press. I've had the easy press. I absolutely hated it. I don't see the purpose of it. You're sitting here holding it down as hard as you possibly can. All it's doing for you is counting down your time. I don't have to do anything. I just watch the time go down and then I go ahead and pull it up when it's done. It wasn't too big of an investment. I think it was, whoops, something fell. I think it was about um, $120 when I bought it, but I seriously got my money's worth on it so, so much. So all I'm doing is peeling the little plastic covering off of here, slowly making sure nothing comes up. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Just like that. So you guys can use irons, you can use the heat press, you can use an easy press. Like I said, honestly, I would never go back to anything but this. I love it so much. It was so worth the money. Um, I can't see anything nice, uh, bad about it. I've never had an issue with it before. Um, so I'm just going to finish these up. So I'm just taking the next one and then doing the same thing, just holding it right in half. It's your preference if you want to open the whole thing up and kind of go that route and made it, make it nice and neat. But I just do, I just hold it right in half. And then I'm going to do another one because I have two more. Actually, I have only one more left. So I have this one. Welcome to our haunted house. I think that's awesome. So I'm just going to, again, just give it a nice press. Just hold it down for a couple seconds. Get it warm. And then get some of the wrinkles out. But I do like these because they have natural wrinkles in it. and kind of reminds me of a pumpkin. So this is absolutely perfect for this. So now that I have, you know, a little bit warm, I'm going to add, whoops, got something on the back here. I don't want that to go on there. Add it on here, not too far down. Make sure it's in the center. And then take your protective covering and put it right over that. And then just press it for the 20 seconds. Um, I will leave the link down below in case you're interested in, in this heat press. I've had it for, I don't know, about a year and a half, two years now, and I'll never go back. I absolutely love it. It has a timer on it so you know when it's done. And there's nothing, whoop, drop something else now. And there's nothing easier for you to use. So again, just take your protective covering off here carefully because it is very hot. And then this one is finished as well. Welcome to our haunted house. And you can see... I don't know if it's coming off. It's steaming because it is so hot right now. So I'm going to let these sit. Um, but I just want to show you it was so easy to create these. So here is the black cats only one. Um, and I love these towels. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it. I have this. I put a spell on you one. And then home sweet haunted home. And one more if I can find it. Here it is. Oh, y'all. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video tutorial. I'm trying to make it quicker for you guys to get hot, know how to do things. I'm going to put these up for sale in the two stores that I'm at. I, you know, I think I'll probably put them for like $8 each and see how it goes. But I have about a week until uh, Halloween is here. So I hope you like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave any questions down below. And also, please make sure, leave some comments down below so you can have the chance to win those blades. They are amazing. Good luck, everyone. Happy crafting.